anointed. Amen. Amen. Listen, I'm excited about his anointing. I'm excited. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. I'm excited about what the anointing is doing over the airways right now. Whatever you need, the anointing is flowing right now. The anointing is flowing. If you're, if there's a loved one that needs or whatever it is or a co-worker or whatever it is, you, the anointing is flowing right now. Just lift up those hands and begin to worship him under the anointing and watch Jehovah change that thing around for the anointing is present right now. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to his name. In 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse 16. Tomorrow about this time, I will send you a man from the land of Benjamin. And you shall anoint him commander over my people, Israel. That he may save my people from the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked upon my people because their cry has come to me. Amen. Your Lord has heard your cry. And listen, he sent it help. And the help is coming from someone that is the anointed. Amen. There's an anointed. And once you become anointed, that anointing flows through you. Amen. And it saves or it helps the others. It is the ability for you to serve effectively. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to his name. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your anointing today. Thank you for your anointing today. Thank you for your anointing today. In Exodus 30 and 30. And you shall anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them that they may minister to me as priest. And we're living in a day where you got a lot of people that are being put in positions and titles as priests or bishops, pastors, elders. Uh, prophet, prophetess, apostle, and so on, what have you, overseers, you got so many titles, I can't keep up with them, I know in the next five years they have some, they have a, they have a new, uh, a couple more different rankings, amen, and what I'm saying is, what makes the difference in that, the, the, the position, or the, or the space, or, or, or the office, if you would, I don't know how you use that, but the office, if you would, uh, is the position, but without the anointed, it carries no weight. Amen. It's not effective. It doesn't, you don't have the ability to move effectively in it. Amen. And this is why oftentimes you see people that uh, they'll go to different churches for a period of time and then they find themselves going backwards to the things that they like because there's no, the anointing is not breaking the notes. They're hearing things. And it sounds good, but it turns. Amen. And this is oftentimes how you find a lot of even some of your uh, what they call um, uh, uh, um, I don't I, I, I don't want to say it wrong, but I guess you're giving an example. They call them prominent preachers or whatever you call them. TV, the, the, the these figures. Amen. And you see that the anointing. In some cases, there's no anointing. They have that they can speak eloquently. They know how to put words together in sentences so it sounds right to you. Amen. And then in some cases, they put the riddles and things together and put a little slang or a little twist to it. And you feel as though that that's the anointing because you see people running and jumping and screaming and yelling and hollering. But that doesn't necessarily constitute the anointing. Or the anoint that doesn't make them the anointed. Sometimes Jehovah can speak and move in quietness. Amen. And he can come any way he wants. But the anointing breaks the yoke. Amen. I remember when I uh, gave my life to Jehovah. All right. I remember how he anointed me. Amen. I wasn't in a church service. I didn't have no uh, uh, bishop or pastor or anyone lay hands on me. But Jehovah, his spirit came and laid hands on me and anointed me. And then taught me how to anoint myself daily. And consecrate myself. Amen. Which gave me the ability to function 
in the anointing, meaning it gave me the ability to serve others out of the, the, the person or the presence of Yehovah. So you, I was releasing what Yehovah gave me. There was nothing in between. I didn't have to fix it up and make it sound like a certain way to do something to people. No, I just delivered it the way he gave me. And the reason why it's a blessing why? Because of the anointing. Because we can't do anything without his spirit, without his presence. And so we need his anointing. Listen, lift those hands up and hear what I'm saying. And say, Lord, anoint me to be the anointed. Will you anoint me to be the anointed? That I may release your anointing to others. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to his name. Glory to his name. We want to be anointed today. I'm almost finished. Almost finished. Wanted to talk to you about the anointing. In Isaiah 61. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. The anointing comes with an assignment. Amen. You're going to try to find one thing. Yehovah doesn't anoint you to sit down. No, Yehovah doesn't anoint you to, so that you can be quiet and, 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 you, and, and you don't have nothing to say. Amen. Yehovah anoints you for a work. Amen. When you get anointed, you get excited about working for Yehovah. And that work that he gives you is to serve. Amen. To be a servant. You want to be a service to the flock of Yehovah. To the people of God. Amen. And it's that anointing. And you want to stay in that anointing. And the way it grows. Listen, there, there's so many levels of the anointing. Amen. Because... The more and more you go into it, the more and more you go into Yehovah, into the things of Yehovah, and you place yourself in him, that anointing increases because the work becomes bigger. Amen. And there's some people here under the sound of my voice. Let me tell you something. Your, your work and your assignment has just become larger. And the only way you're going to be able to accomplish this is with the anointing. There's some, Lord, anoint me afresh. Lord, anoint me a more. Lord, pour out out your anointing upon me for this work. Amen. Consecrate me for this work. Amen. I remember when I used to work for people. Amen. I would ask them to anoint me on this job. Amen. When I got my business, I said, Lord, anoint me to be a financier. Amen. Anoint me. Consecrate me. Amen. That I would be able to to excel in that level. The only way I could do it is with the anointing. If I'm going to preach your gospel, I need to be anointed. If I'm going to lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover, I need your anointing. If I'm going to sing, I need thine anointing. If I'm going to pray, Lord, don't let me do it without thine anointing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If I'm going to, if I'm going to be in music, Amen. And play the instruments. I need thine anointing. Anoint my fingers. Anoint my hands. Anoint my, my ears so I can hear sounds. Amen. And melodies. Anoint me. Anoint me. Whatever you do, you want to be anointed to do the service of Jehovah. Don't you go nowhere without being anointed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If I'm going to prophesy, I must prophesy out of his anointing. And see, you got to be anointed. You want to be anointed. And so Jehovah is saying today... Listen, I'm anointing you and making you my anointed so that you can release my anointing unto someone else. Hallelujah. You're going to release my anointing to the people. Amen. Because the kingdom of God is growing today. The kingdom of God is growing today. Yehovah is raising up an army of the anointed. We're about to get you some people. Amen. We're about to rescue. We're going to rescue some people for the kingdom of God. There's some lost sheep out there. The harvest is right right now for the anointed. So we want to just bask in his anointing. We want to go after his anointing. Oh, we want to reach up after his anointing. You want to get hungry for his anointing. 
you need his anointed to make it. I don't know how I'm going to make it, but God, if you anoint me, I'll do it. I don't know how I'll be able to accomplish this, but Father, if you anoint me, I'll be all right. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this, but if you're anointed me with me, I'll be okay. The anointed act is a shield. I'm going to be your sire. It'll lift you. I'm going to be your sire. It'll be your strength. I'm going to be your sire. It'll be your guidance. I'm going to be your sire. It'll be your discernment. I'm going to see. Hallelujah. It will be your sword. I'm going to be your sire. The anointed guarantees you your victory. Hallelujah. Now lift those hands up and praise him. Open up your mouth and praise him. Clap your hands to Jehovah. Clap your hands and give him praise. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. Clap your hands and give Jehovah praise. Clap your hands for the anointing. Clap your hands for the anointing. Lord, anoint me. Tell him, Lord, anoint me. And anoint me afresh. Anoint me. Let it be a daily practice. When you get up in the morning, God anoint me for this day. God anoint me to be a husband. Anoint me to be a wife. Anoint me to be a son. Anoint me to be a daughter. Anoint me to be an apostle. Anoint me to be a pastor. Anoint me to be a bishop. Anoint me to be an elder. Anoint me to be a servant. Anoint me to lay hands on the sick. Anoint me to cast out demons. I need an anointing. Thank you. And Father, we thank you. We give your name glory. We give your name praise, Lord. And we thank you. We thank you tonight. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you today. We thank you. We thank you today. Lord, we thank you today. We thank you today. We thank you for your anointing. Quicken us in your word. Quicken us in your word. Anoint us. <laughs> anoint us today. Anoint us afresh. You're anointing over the airways. You're anointing meet the people's needs today. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. And I thank you for your anointing being released. I thank you for signs and wonders because of your anointing with your people under the Dio side. I thank you for demonstration of your anointing. I thank you for Manifestation of the Hey, And we get operates out of thy anointing. And we thank you for releasing the open people over the airways. Everyone under the sound of my voice. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, the Holy One, I pray this prayer is so still and done for you, my people today. Our men and our men. Well, God bless you. That ends this episode. Amen. You God. From the depths of our souls, God. Lord, we could sing of your great love forever, <coughs> forever. Well, that ends it, y'all. I love all of you. Until the next time, stay blessed. Shalom, shalom, Shabbat. God be with you. The atmosphere has been released. Now move along with it. Grab a hold of it and take, <coughs> take the anointing with you. I love you all. Till the next time, be blessed. Shalom. I'm happy to be in the tree, and I will daily lift my hands, for I will always sing away.